Hello and friend, I am a great lover of good music, music is life, imagine life without good songs, I think our lives would be terrible, so I created this channel that talks about music that has a soul and a good life story behind it. Who sings, I hope you like it, everything we hear today of good music is related to the emotions and soul of those who composed and sings. If you like it, leave yours and subscribe to the channel of this force for new content like this can be thank you very much. Duffy. Emerging during the same boom of retro UK-based singers that launched Amy Winehouse, Duffy distinguished herself with a melodic, vintage voice that brought to mind such 60s artists as Dusty Springfield and Petula Clark. Born in the small coastal town of Neffin on the LLYN Peninsula in Gwinnett, Wales, Amy and Duffy began singing at an early age. With a record collection limited to her parents' classic LPs, though, she had few influences to draw from. Her father's VHS tapes of the 1960s television rock show Ready Steady Go. Thus became one of her biggest sources of inspiration, and Duffy started performing with various bands throughout her teenage years, sporting a charmingly retro sound that caught the ear of Rough Trade Records owner Jeanette Lee in 2004. Lee helped nurture the singer's talent by pairing her up with former suede guitarist Bernard Butler. The duo co-wrote several songs, including the single, Rock Fairy, which revealed Duffy's knack for soulful music inspired by Stax and Motown. Rock Fairy became the title song of Duffy's debut album, which was released on Polydor in 2008. However, it took a different song, Mercy, to make her an international star. Mercy topped the charts in the UK, the first song by a Welsh female in a quarter century to hit number one, and the follow-up single, Warwick Avenue, peaked at number three. Overseas, Mercy also scored platinum status in America. Rock Fairy became one of the year's most popular records, selling over 2 million copies in the UK alone, winning a Grammy for Best Pop Vocal Album, and going multi-platinum in multiple other countries. Duffy began working on her second album in 2009, taking some time off to make her acting debut in the 2010 drama Patagonia. Meanwhile, recording sessions for the album took place in England and New York, with Albert Hammond pulling a double shift as producer and co-writer. The result, Endlessly, was released in November 2010. Search, Vitor Hugo Lizard Leonard. Hello friend, I am a great lover of music and because I thought that without music, it would be nothing, I created this channel. Soul is the root of music, and in my humble view, everything we hear today of good music is related to soul. If you liked it, leave your like and subscribe to the channel of this force so that new content like this can be produced, thank you very much.